First Amendment Auditor and Cop Watcher, Northern Corruption Monitor 907, was arrested a couple hours ago. In this video, I will explain exactly what happened to the best of my knowledge. And what you see will disgust you. It all started with an innocent audit of a courthouse in Anchorage, Alaska. Oh yeah, there he is. Right there. Looks like somebody left their food here. After his audit, he did a simple public records request. They're about to close, so I gotta hurry this up. <clears throat> um, and up here, there is no APD case number or CAD. I don't know. They were calling me Benjamin yesterday, so I don't know who they think I am, but. <laughs> Silly again, uh, because I believe it's my Fourth Amendment right. Um, during the time that the officer took the picture of me, I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't breaking any laws or doing anything wrong. I was actually exercising my rights, and every time that I have, pretty much every time that I have exercised my rights here in town, you guys get kind of go sideways. And later that night, he caught a police officer abusing a canine. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Evening, sir. Ah! Yeah, hi. He was just dragging him. Yeah, he's unfortunately got to use the bathroom. Oh. Uh. Trying to get him out to a place to use the bathroom. Huh. And on the way home, a police officer approached him while he was riding his bicycle. No light or reflector or reflective clothing in his bicycle. How are you doing, sir? I'm Officer Pettis Anchorage Police Department. Do you have identification on you? What crime do you suspect me of? Well, you don't have reflective clothing or light or rear reflector that I know. What happens next will be very important later. He slowly rides away. He probably should have asked if he was being detained, but note that the officer did not tell him to stop, nor did he tell him he was detained. A reasonable person would believe they are not detained in this situation, especially after the cop did nothing and watched him ride away. And now watch the police officer drive right past him, making no attempts to detain him. And now watch a second police car drive right past him, making no attempts to detain him. He then spots a third police car and approaches the vehicle. Again, there is no attempt to detain him. Out of the roadway if you're not gonna have your lights and reflectors on. Stay on the sidewalk. Yeah, it's a nice little fucking game you guys play trying to get me with reflector shit. Yeah, it's required. You, you fucking worthless fucking pig. And the third police car drives away, just telling him to stay on the sidewalk and makes no attempts to detain him. Again, a reasonable person would believe they are free to leave. So with several indications that he was not being detained, he decided to go home. But what happens next is the most chilling part. Later that night, while he was asleep, the police decided to pay him a visit. Uh, Bicycle violations? Oh, no, no. Game. <clears throat> Fuck you, you... Hey, come here! Come here! Get in there! Get in there! Okay, so the police come to his door in the middle of the night, wake him up to discuss his bicycle violations. So he's understandably upset. So he walks towards them to question them. The police officer forcefully grabs his camera 
and says, see you later. You gonna play fucking games with reflective shit? Okay. You're a fucking piece of fucking shit. Oh! Smart, huh? Gonna so, just grab my phone, huh? Oh well, yeah, so it's evident. Yeah. Thanks. That's a lot to you. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? One more? Hey, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck are you doing to me? There you go, put your hands behind your back. What the fuck are you doing to me? Put your hands behind your back. What did I do? You just fucking punched me, dude! Put your hands behind your back. You just punched me! I did punch you. Put your hands behind your back. Do it now. Fuck you, man. Fucking come on, guys! Ow! Come on! What the fuck? Put your hand behind your back. Okay, okay, okay. Put okay. your hand behind your back. Do it now. Can I make a phone call to help for somebody to come get my dog, please? You just assaulted me. Can I make a call to my friend to get my dogs, please? No, we're done for tonight. We're not doing anything for your dogs. Okay. It was a bad decision for you to come out of your house and try to square up with a police officer. I didn't do nothing to you. Now the cops are claiming he squared up with them, but I think he was just trying to get his camera back. I'm gonna sue you for assault. Okay. Yeah, you just witnessed this cop assault me. What is your name, sir? It's all, it's all on video. It's all on video. Good. It also caught you coming outside and squaring up on a police officer. I didn't square up on you. I had a camera in my hand and you grabbed it out of my hand. It's evidence. That's assault. It's evidence. That's assault. That's assault. No, it's a bad decision on your part. No, you're assaulting me. You're harassing me and assaulting me. Yes, you are. You just cost APD a lot of money. You had to stop when we told you to stop. Okay, did you hear that? The officer said, you had to stop when I told you to stop. He was referring to the bicycle incident. Now, you can watch the full video, and not once will you hear any police officers tell him to stop. So what are you charging me with? Well, now resisting, you're going to jail. It was a simple three citations for your bicycle at 12th and Eagle, just like I explained to you before. And then you came out and you said, fuck you, faggot, and then squared up on me like you were. I did. I had a camera in my hands, dude. Right, you did. Where is my camera? It's by the car somewhere. We'll deal with that later. Do you remember when you were videotaping the uh, encounter that I had when I told you why I was stopping you on your bicycle? Remember that? Fuck you. Okay. That means that you had evidence of the actual encounter when, when you fled. So I didn't fall. flee. You I did. didn't flee. You did. you, you, no, you, I didn't. You, left you drove through. past me. You drove you right left. past me. No, I chose not to pursue. Uh, I didn't flee. I was the last one at the scene. I have it on film. Okay. And that's why your phone is evidence. So that we can see that. So we got medics in route to come decontaminate you with the OC spray. And then I got a supervisor in route as well. Okay. What's your name, sir? Officer Stout. Stout. You witnessed him grab the phone out of my hand and punch me? Yeah, you did, you did. Yeah, I was here. Yes. It's on camera. You like that, didn't you, little bitch? Punch me. <laughs> little punk is what you are. Are you the supervisor, sir? No, he's not. Supervisor. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. 
I just asked him if you're a supervisor. Oh, I'm Officer Weinberg. Yeah, he just Can he I just help you? yeah he just grabbed my phone and assaulted me. Did he? Yeah. He grabbed my phone out of my hands and assaulted me. Why are they saying you're fighting with them? No, I wasn't fighting with them. I had my camera on. He grabbed my camera out of my phone. And are you, any of you guys audio recording? Yeah, I've been recording since I came. Okay, to great, house. great. It's been going for ten minutes and fifteen seconds. He's gonna take photos of it. Yeah, I would do that. Of what? He's gonna take photos. Wait till next get here. Well, he just grabbed my phone out of my hand and squared off with me. Punch me. Just rip my phone out of my hands. I'm glad I was live. All the way live. You're a fucking punk. You're a fucking little bitch. They're gonna hear that in court. They're gonna just rip the phone out of my hands and fucking square off with me. One thing I didn't ID at the scene, so I'm not sure how you. I guess we you guys. Huh? We talked yesterday at the courthouse. I didn't ID though. No chapo. No, I didn't ID. I wasn't I wasn't doing anything wrong, so you guys didn't ask me for my ID. I explained to you Yeah. What's your name, sir? My name? Yeah. Austin Shreff. Shreff, what's your badge number? 63543. 63543. What's your name, sir? 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 You got an OC exposure. You can just check him out. And I need my jaw checked too. This officer punched me. Yeah, we'll take you down. Thank you for watching and please comment your opinions. And don't forget to subscribe to Northern Corruption Monitor 907 in the description if you're not subscribed to him already. He does need your help. I think this is a clear case of retaliation. I will be posting an update video as soon as more information becomes available.